get a gander at another box from the folks over at Lutaku. What's inside the Lutaku box for January 2019? And this time, I think this is actually Lutaku's January 2019 box. I know I've said that incorrectly the last few times I've opened up the Lutaku box, but this time I think we've got this right. Unfortunately, the courier system over the holiday season, anybody that was living here in Canada knew the ripple in time in which we had to wait for some parcels to arrive. As a result, Lutaku sort of got sidestepped, not necessarily from their shipping, from instead their arriving time until finally this reviewer would eventually get them in the mail. Now, I think that the temporal the time, temporal timeline has been corrected. I think now it's safe to say that this is the January 2019 box. It would be ironic if I was to open this and still find inside not the January box, but instead a box from 2023. What is going on here? I don't think that's going to be the case, but we're going to go ahead and open up the box nonetheless. It's only going to involve a seal cutting on the front and a seal cutting on the side and a seal cutting on the other side. Anybody who's just listening that in the audio version probably thinks that I'm attacking seals. No, I'm not, not attacking seals. I would never attack seals. Seals are wonderful animals, wonderful creatures. We just need to leave the environment alone and just exist, coexist with nature and wildlife and not feel the need to destroy it. I'm a big advocate when it comes to wildlife. I don't like to... I certainly would not do anything, I would hope, to harm nature. I'm not going to turn into this preachy, this certainly I could be a preachy channel video, but anyways, anyways, uh, the first thing we've got here is a Marvel Spider-Man statue. That's from the folks over at Band Presto. Periodically, I'm not going to look any further into the box, but periodically sprinkled amongst the anime offerings from Lutaku. Periodically, we may also get ourselves DC and Marvel statues. Case in point, this Spider-Man right here. So I'm going to go ahead, cut the tape on the top, which I've already done, opening up the box, which I'm currently doing, and seeing what we've got inside, which will be happening very, very soon. This is my also my first first time getting a Ban Presto Spider-Man statue, so I'm really excited to see what we're going to be getting inside. Unlike the anime, which I'm eh, moderately, moderately aware of. Anybody who wants to know the more on 411 on anime might want to check out a channel like SXC Blues. I can even put the link down below to his channel. There's a guy that knows anime. I'm not even going to pretend for one second that I know as much about anime because I really don't. I'm not I'm not as honed in on anime as I used to be back in the days of high school and whatnot. So you might want to check out SXC Blues. Good guy, good channel. Anyways, as we are doing this, as I'm discussing Johnny Blues, we're gonna go ahead and open all this stuff up. All this good stuff. Looks like it's got a webbing in there as well. I'm quickly cutting this stuff and realizing I think it's coming down to that time. That time, you know what that time is. Time I start considering changing out a blade. An old red here. Yeah. I think the time is coming. Can you imagine? I better not hold this up to camera too long. It might be the defaulted thumbnail. YouTube will be like, is this guy promoting knives? No, not even close. Action figures and statues. That's what this guy is all about. So let's see what we got here. So, okay, so this I'm gonna guess, is there, there I don't see, even see any instructions anywhere on here, but we can figure this out. I think we're all smart enough to figure this out. That's gonna go like that, right? That sounds, that seems right. And then Spider-Man's feet, I guess would go like this. That lines up like that. There we go. And then the other foot goes into this peg. Sorry, sorry, I did it off camera. It goes into that peg. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then what are we gonna do with the webbing? Okay, so the webbing goes, uh, let's see here. Oh, so this web goes closer to his thumb like that. 
Does it go in all the way? There we go. Actually, you know what? This webbing goes up further up, so maybe I should put that one in first. Someone could even use the argument that I probably should have done all of this and then put them on the stand. That's going to go in like that. And then this. Hmm. I guess this goes here. Is that right? That tucks in there as well. The whole lot of there's a lot of people hanging out in the same in the same space. A lot of a lot of tenants living in the same household. I guess that goes that doesn't seem right. Oh. Okay, so this goes actually up here. I've turned this the wrong way. I'm now looking at the instruct I'm not looking at the instructions, I'm looking at the box artwork to tell me it's supposed to go up this way. Ah, you see? Sometimes we're slow, but we eventually pick it up. Humans are good for that. We eventually pick up our stuff, figure out what's going on. There we go. And it goes like that. I think that's right. I, th I, th I, th I, think that I think that's right. Maybe it goes the other way. Does it go like this? No, that doesn't match, that doesn't match the diagram either. Maybe it goes like this. Like that? Maybe this plugs in here. Maybe it goes like that. Although that doesn't sit. I'm going to go with this as my, my possible guess because that's what the box looks like. See how it kind of curves around and it goes up? This doesn't really necessarily go up. I guess you can kind of detach it. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that as the as the final look. And a decent looking Spider-Man, I have to admit. I like the shading that they've put into the neck area, the torso area there as well. It's got a great pose. That is desk worthy, I would say. I would say desk worthy, but I, all the stuff that's collectively on my desk right now, my desk is already running out of space. What else do we have in here though? We have... Uh, My Hero Academia, this is The Amazing Heroes, Volume 2, and this is also fan from Band Presto. Ironically enough, for its size, even though it's smaller than the Spider-Man, it's actually heavier. Maybe there's more component pieces to it. So I'm going to cut the tape on either side and the front. I'm going to get this opened as well. Spider-Man's just kind of hanging out here in the meantime. Yeah, I like the pose on that Spider-Man statue. This will go inside the box. Slide down into place. I probably will need that as a reference point. And once again, we are treated to several pieces. A base. And a neck. And a neck. I can actually, I didn't cut that completely. Being reminded again, gonna have to cut that blade. That, that time is coming. It's coming soon. I guess I wouldn't cut the blade, I would break the blade. Go ahead and cut that. I'm sure many people have asked where Hank is. Hey, what's what's the deal with Hank? We can't help but notice he hasn't been around for a while. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Sorry, you didn't really reply. You sort of just trailed off. Yeah, yeah I did kind of trail off, didn't I? Anyways, so... <laughs> anyways... So there's the top of the statue. That looks super cool. And we're gonna take the bottom half. These are gonna, in theory, connect to one another. There we go. I like the pose on this guy. And then we are gonna take the base. That's going to snap in place. Where is this supposed to go? And of course there are no instructions, so I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Well, this goes into his feet. Oh, is it? No, this this is not broken off. That I guess goes into here, like that. And then his foot goes here. You see, we can figure all this stuff out. And that goes right into his butt cheek, right, firmly planted into his butt cheek. And there we've got the statue. Again, fantastic paint done, airbrushing here of the darker variety, right around the lower torso area here. Very bright colors in the white. Love the face sculpt. Love also how this is a translucent red that's on his arm here. 
Oh, he's got a little bit of the blue on the other side. That's a nice looking statue. Go along with the Spider-Man there. Still feels like there's something in there. Hello? No, no. Thought there was something. I thought there was something. Maybe there's not. There's nothing in there. It's just ghosts. Just ghosts. I shouldn't even joke about ghosts. Often at times I do feel like this house has hauntings of ghosts, but I don't think, I'm willing to kind of write off that maybe that's not the case. Yeah, maybe that's not the case. Here we have Tomoro Shigaraki. Is it Shigaraki? Shigaragi and Nomu. Uh, another equally heavy piece. In. And it looks like it could be, I want to say a metal pin. Let's, you know what, we've got the little carding here. I also seem to think that we've got ourselves a Deadpool, Deadpool, a Venom t-shirt. I'm going to go ahead and get that opened up as well. Let's see if we can open this up all the way. Ooh, liking that. Liking that. Just some teeth. Big, giant, slobbery, <laughs> slobbery tongue. Although it's that kind of printing, you never feel like that washes well. Feels like that's gonna start crackling. Like, like those old vintage t-shirts. Probably the best advice for this. Not that I'm some expert when it comes to washing clothing, but I probably would, uh, invert that, fold it inside out, inside out, and then I would probably wash it. Okay, so let's see what we got for, once again, the January 2019, and this was, in fact, the January 2019, so we've corrected the timeline. Everything can progress accurately. Biff is not president. That's a good thing. Uh, January 2019 was entitled Mutations, My Hero Academia, Spider-Man, and Venom. The first thing that we got inside was the My Hero Academia Amazing Heroes Volume 2, Shoto uh, Todoroki. Uh, that, that statue was 30 US dollars. We also got ourselves a Spider-Man statue from Band Presto, and that one was valued at 30 US dollars. Well, Lutaku exclusive t-shirt, limited edition Venom t-shirt, which happened to be 20 US dollars and a Lutaku limited edition pin My Hero Academia, Tomura, Shigaraki, and Nomu. Again, I apologize wholeheartedly if I've incorrectly pronounced that. You know, I'm notorious for that. So collectively, that comes up to 92 US dollars, which if you are Canadian like I am myself, that would be a little bit more expensive after the conversion rate and all that good stuff. So you actually do get a fair good value of stuff, especially if you're a statue collector. I myself am an avid statue collector. You probably know that by the enough stuff that I review on this channel. So statues are really my thing. Even if, again, I don't really know 1000% some of the, uh, the backstory or some of the shows in which these statues are based from, they're still really neat statues nonetheless. If you are interested, by the way, in subscribing, there's the address up at the top there www.lutaku.com. I would say it's safe bet that if you are subscribing right now, not literally right now, but like right around this time frame, likelihood February's box is already being shipped or it's currently being processed. So you may unfortunately miss out on that. But if you can subscribe, you'll probably still end up getting the March box and then the April box and then the May box and all those other boxes, providing your courier system doesn't go on strike. Sigh. Today, though, we were having a look at the Lutaku 2019, for January 2019 box, entitled Mutations. I felt compelled to throw the quotes in there because the quotes were actually on the card there as well. Speaking of subscribing, why not, while you're at it, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. I have a reason to believe that most of you viewers who are currently checking out this video have subscribed to this channel, but are, if you are a late bloomer, you are getting up relatively late, maybe watching the video and then forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos and unboxings will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.